Okay, we've got, uh, now we've got both uh, animals drying a little bit. Now what I want to do is I, on this, uh, on this dog here, on the, uh, the mutt, I call him, I want to take a white and I want to put a little, put a little white around the, the, the tail in here. I want to hit all this with a little bit of white, in other words. It's not, the burnt umber is a little bit dark, and what you do, you hit it with a little white, is what you do, just kind of calm it down a little bit, so it doesn't have the domineering effect. This, this guy's going to kind of be a mutt, is what he is. Oh, dogs that so you take the white and I'm just sort of hitting some some light areas in here kind of give it a Kind of use a, and the white doesn't dominate or anything like that. See, whenever you take colors and you you mix them, or you 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 you, you get that. It's like the bat, the black. The white gives it sort of a a soothing effect. It gives it kind of a. It doesn't dominate it, but it gives it that. Okay, let that dry just a little bit. Okay, this dog's looking looking pretty good. Now, I want to take. Let me get some more white here. Ah. I want to take my little push pin here. I want to put a little white in here where the uh, eyes are. And the same thing here. see it. There we go. Fun thing about these little dolls, you can, they, they're little, when they're little old mutts, you can make them look anything. I mean, it's just, uh, <laughs> now, we want to take our Black or Payne's Gray, I call it a Payne's Gray. And we want to uh, do our eyes. Right in here.
guys in here. Okay. All right, now we'll let that dry for a second. 